Hey guys, it's Tag. Um, welcome to a new video. This one's gonna be pretty short. Um, well, not short, but it's gonna be shorter than the rest. Because today, we are going to be making a quad creeper farm. Something that I've been planning for quite a long time. And if the audio right now of me talking is a little off compared to the actual video, it's because the video, the audio that I recorded in the moment, um, was, was internal audio. So this is just going to be a voiceover for the first, like, six minutes, but I'll try to make it as seamless as possible. So yeah, um, as you can see, this is where we're going to be building it. I have our scaffolding coming up. Um, it's a really cool design. I've been working on it for a long time. Very excited. Um, I believe in my test world, it gives me about 27 stacks per hour. Um, it's very big. It's very resource intensive. Um, up at the top is where we AFK. It's very far down. We had to do this at level, um, I think it's 200. Um, but it is a really, really good farm. I'm very, very proud of it. Um, it works very well. Now, this is in preparation for our Ender Dragon fight, which is going to happen pretty soon. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, I need fireworks to get an Elytra. So the plan is I'm going to make our little creeper farm. Um, and then I'll have the gunpowder. And then we can make my bedroom or something. And then I will kill the dragon. So that is pretty cool. Just kind of preparing for the next episode but like i said this is gonna be a little bit of short one up there you can see like i said the afk spot that is where we go to as you can probably guess afk so i actually built this in a copy of this exact world so i copied the world and then i went into creative which i'll show you in a sec i'll go and join that um but I, I copied the world, and then I built the actual creeper farm in the exact same spot that I'm going to build it in our actual world. So here, here in the copy, you can kind of get a glimpse of what it's going to look like. Now, a lot of this is a little fancier than it will be, um, at least today. It's a little bit more refined, but you can get a general idea for what everything's going to look like once it's fully done. Um, but as you can see looking pretty nice we have our four creeper spawners um right here um the the way that the creepers spawn in here is because creepers are a certain height so if you have trap doors on the roof they can only spawn there and then the buttons on the floor are so that other mobs that are below um two blocks can't spawn so for example spiders can't spawn because of the buttons um the glass and like little like walkways that you see are not going to be there today and the big old glass thing at the top of the creeper face is not going to definitely be built in this episode but it will be built eventually no doubt, like, that's gonna happen, just not today. Um, but as you can see, it's a pretty cool design, very high up. Um, there's four of the little things, there's... If you go all the way down, you can see, um, where it's gonna be built, you know? So that's, like, kind of near my spider farm, I think. Yeah. And then, um, I have a little base camp up at the top, and the reason everything's built out of glass is so that only creepers can spawn. Um, if there isn't glass, then other mobs could be spawning, and it would mess up with the variables... So then the way that we actually kill the creepers, which I should show you in a sec. Again, I'm doing a voiceover. Um, but this is how we kill them with the trident killers right here. So we're, the reason we're doing trident killers, and if you don't know what trident killers are, basically it's just pistons pushing back um, idle tridents back and forth so that when a creeper falls on them, as you can see, it'll kill it. And the reason we're using tridents in the first place as opposed to, like, I don't know, magma or, like, campfires or something, something that can hurt the mob is because... Tridents have this cool little feature where if you hold um, a sword, for example, with looting 3 on it, then the looting 3 enchantment will carry over to um, the tridents, right? So, with these tridents, as long as we're holding a looting 3 sword, we will practically triple the amount of gunpowder that we get. Which is why using tridents is better than using other options. And then you can see in here, the way that the little water stream works, they fall in, they fall down down into the tridents and on that one over there because it was on chunk border i had to like move the little piston things but this is the design um and i think now that i have this you know shown off to you i'm gonna go into my little survival world my actual survival world remember this is just the copy so i'm gonna go into my real survival world i'm gonna build out that little glass blueprint but it'll only be one glass long right so I'm going to build that lovely glass blueprint, and then we can start on the actual farm itself. Again, I'm sorry that this is a voiceover, but the audio clip that I was trying to use was horrible. And oh, by the way, um, the one that we actually end up building in this episode gives about 18 stacks of gunpowder an hour, or somewhere around 30 to 40 stacks of fireworks an hour, which is really, really good. So without further ado, let's go in and let's build that little glass thing. 
Alrighty, the rest of the clips are real time, no voiceovers. I just wanted to get that out of the way. Um, so yeah, let's build this freaking farm. Alrighty, so we have our little glass blueprint sort of thing going. It looks really cool from the ground, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so now what I have to do is I basically just have to one by one build our little creeper farms um, until we're done, I guess. Um, and, that, and that won't be too particularly fun. It's a very laborious task, so I think I'm kind of just gonna update you one by one um, as I do it. Uh, and probably not any time lapses because I think I'm honestly just gonna do it in my free time. Um, so wish me luck, and I'm kind of just going to start off, but I do think um, I will map out the actual... You know what, no. I'm just going to cut back to once I basically have the first one done, um, and, then I'll, and then I'll see you later. Well, um, after I'd say about maybe an hour, maybe two hours, it's actually going quicker than I expected it to, um, but about two hours of work has gotten me this puppy. Um, so we have our little drop shoe right there, and up there we have all of the trapdoors and buttons, which basically make it so, um, only the creepers can spawn. They spawn in, they fall down, they go into the little water stream, and it takes them down here into our technically unfinished, um, little trident killer. Um, so this is one of four. Alrighty, so, I got our little piston guy going, and now I just have to check these guys in, and it should technically start working. So our little tridents are kind of bopping back and forth and the cool thing about tridents the reason you should use tridents over um campfires or magma or any other way of killing them they already said this but if you hold a looting three sword that effect will go on the tridents so if i fk here with a looting three sword i will literally triple the amount of gunpowder i will get which is pretty freaking cool so without further ado um i think i'm gonna test this first dude out i'm going to um, have my sword held out. I'm gonna make a little glass box around me just to ensure I'm protected, and then I'll turn it to hard mode, and I will do a little first-person time lapse of this thing going for, I think I'm gonna do an hour. So I will cut back in an hour when this is done, um, but I just gotta turn this thing to hard, and we should see the creepers going. And once the creepers start spawning, I will cut out just to make sure that it's actually working. And there we go. See, you already got two there. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna let this do its thing for about an hour, and I will cut back, and we'll see how it goes. And as you can see, the creeper just fell all the way down, and speaking of which, I wanna see how much gunpowder. I know I always said I was gonna be patient, but patience is for people who have patience. Well, folks... Yeah, I was a bit of a dum-dum. I stood down here with the area open, and I kind of let one explode on me. Um, that's the problem with dealing with creepers. But we do know it's working. The creepers are coming down. Um, I was trying to make sure that the, <laughs> the friggin' thing was actually working. Not my smartest play. Not my smartest move. But you know what? We're fine, guys. Don't worry. Um, so, yeah. We know that the creepers are spawning. Um, I'm just gonna <laughs> fix this up. Make sure everything's working again. And then I will get that AFK session done. So, yeah, let's, without further ado, I know I've already said that a few times. Let's just get that AFK session done. Okay, so... Okay, so I've AFK'd at our little farm for about four hours. Um, which is actually not that much time. And I've checked down periodically our, um, Trident Killer is still working. Which means it's not on a chunk border, which is great. Um, but now it's time for the grand reveal. Can we get a drum roll, please? Whoa. That's pretty good for four hours. Um, yeah, so that is nine plus four. Um, about, I'm rounding up here, 14 stacks of gunpowder for four hours, which is phenomenal. I suppose I'm just gonna build the other ones. So I will cut back to once I have, um, another one of these guys built. Alrighty, so... 
Um, after a few hours of work, I basically just like do all the busy work um, during my school zooms, which probably isn't very responsible. But don't tell anyone, guys. I don't want to be arrested. Um, I have the second of two. Sorry, I have two of four done. You will see it as I slowly climb up the ladder. Um, one thing that I wanted to address is you may think that this is not real survival. You may think I'm cheating here, and I'm not. Um, there are no cheats. Um, well, okay, here's the thing. Cheats are actually turned on, and they have been turned on before in this world. And you may be wondering, well, that's a pretty incriminating piece of evidence there, Tag. Um, and the reason for that is, for my time lapses, um, I want to have one of my cameramen, I want to have my camera account flying for it. So I have to have them in creative, which is the only reason that cheats has ever been turned on in this world. All of the materials that you see was gathered naturally no cheats like i went out and i mined for hours and i you know got all the wood for it um, but yeah kind of just wanted to address that but yeah we have two out of four done and as you can see it's already starting to spawn creepers which is really freaking epic um so i have my trident killers it looks like one of the common problems over here is happening again all right so that's interesting um this hopper uh or sorry this um piston thing is currently off which is a bit odd, I will be honest with you. Um, I'm not sure why that would be the case, but I don't know. I mean, honestly, bedrock is just kind of a problem in general. There's a lot of bugs, um, but as long as we keep that going, we should be fine. But as you can see, we have creepers spawning on either side. Um, I'm not going to do another AFK session. I think I'm just going to do that last third one, and then I'll probably end off the video with a um, time lapse of me building the final one because you guys th I think it might be fun for you guys to see the process um this actually only takes like maybe an hour or two um, it's, a, it's a pretty good amount of time spent um and then after we get all of these guys going I will probably get some nice walkways going just to make actually no I'm not gonna do that I'm not gonna do any walkways today that's for another day um because I'm just trying to get my fireworks um but I'm probably gonna end off the episode with me AFKing for maybe four or five hours, and then we're gonna come back see how much we get. And speaking of AFKing, so yeah, um, I'm gonna build that third one. I know this video is a bit uh, short and it's a bit quick, but that's only because um, I don't know. I just didn't really feel like making a real video today. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our third creeper farm done, um, and I just wanted you to get a feel for how it's gonna look um, eventually. So we just sit up here, and all of these guys would work, and as you can see, I have been connecting them up at the top. So you know, we got the little slanted bits, um, and it's going really well. So we only have one more to go. Once I get all this connected, we will do our good old fashioned AFK session. Um, but like I said, we're gonna do a time lapse for this one, so buckle up because it's gonna be a good one. So let that groovy music fade in, and it's time for our fourth and final Creeper Farm build. So I'll see you after that.
Okay, so as of right now, we are technically 100% finished with the entire thing. And I'm feeling pretty good about that because um, I worked really hard on this whole situation. And I'm not even going to show you what it looks like yet because the final thing that we have to do to get our quad creeper farm up and running is we have to go and grab our last two tridents. I'll put them on our last little trident killer and then I will do a nice little AFK session. This is the most technical build I've ever made. Um, this quad creeper farm is super cool. And if anyone wants a tutorial on it, if people think that would be something that they'd be interested in, I will totally do that because um, it's kind of hard to trust people who are making it in a flat world because flat worlds have completely different variables than an actual Minecraft world. And the fact that this Minecraft world is pretty freaking filled up and the fact that it's still so effective um, I feel like other people could benefit from that, so if you want a tutorial, tell me. But, um, I have my two tridents, so I think it's time to show you what this behemoth of a build really looks like. If it'll actually load in. You can kind of see it up there, and it looks really cool. Um, it looks like a giant drone of some sorts, and it also kind of just looks like a beast of a freaking build, and I really, really like how it looks, and it's just so cool. But as you can see... Um, actually, well, technically, the only thing that I have to do to make it look a little bit nicer is break the little glass lining around, because that's how we lined everything up. But yeah, this is what the thing looks like, and since you last saw it, I've changed a bit. I've just kind of made a nice little, um, area for me to live in, kind of, so I'm not just on, like, a one-by-one, -one, uh, little bit of, um, path. So I'm, I actually do have a little bit of a base camp set up here. It's all spawn-proof, though, so we're fine. I also added some levers to all the piston things so that I can reset the piston, um, trident things. Uh, because they kind of turn off automatically, and that's not my fault. It's just bedrock being bedrock, because bedrock is very glitchy. But as you can see, this is my new area. Um, this is where I keep my gunpowder. This is what I've gotten so far from about a few hours, with only three. Um, then here we have some of my junk, what I've been building with. And then up here, um, if you go up the scaffolding, we have our lovely, um, creeper, uh, AFK spot. So as you can see... We have all four of them done. But yeah, without further ado, I think it's time to put our tridents into Tower 4 and finish off this wonderful little build of ours. So yeah, as you can see, it's going, making a heck load of noise. Put our tridents in, give them a nice little chuck. Um, and then, as you can see, if I flip this lever, it'll stop all of the pistons, and then I can turn it back on, and it will continue going. Very, very simple. Literally just a piston on, or sorry, a lever on a piston. Um, but yeah, we're looking pretty good. Um, I don't really have anything else to say, but I think it's time for us to do a time lapse of me AFK. Actually, no time lapse, we're just gonna AFK. So I think I'm going to AFK for, what time is it right now? Hmm... I will AFK for two hours. So in two hours, I'll come back and we'll see what we can get. Okay, so I cut our little um, AFK session a little short. I only AFK'd for about a half an hour. Sorry, not a half an hour, an hour and a half. So a fairly long time. Um, and I am going to be expecting about five stacks each. Um, so that should give us about 20 stacks um, of gunpowder. That's my goal. We're gonna see how it goes. So actually, let me dump all my junk in the chest. We'll see how it goes, and then we will end off this episode. So, I can say pretty freaking confidently that this is a successful farm. Um, and actually, I have an idea. Alright, there we have it. The first quad farm firework in this entire Let's Play. I am just gonna go bing bing with these other two, because I don't really need them right now. Um, but I... So I do think we're pretty set for our elytra, so we should be able to kill the dragon pretty soon, and I'm very excited about that. Um, so yeah, let me go get this in a nice item frame. Boom! First quad farm firework. Looking pretty nice on our little trophy wall, I guess. Um, but yeah, I think we should be able to kill the dragon pretty soon now, now that we have a steady source of gunpowder to make fireworks. Um, we should be able to kill it pretty freaking fast. Wait a second. I just... Mm. Okay, so the plan was... About five seconds ago, my plan was... We're gonna kill the dragon in the next episode, right? And then I realized that... You need two things to make fireworks, don't you? You need... You need gunpowder, which we have checked off. 
And you also need sugarcane. So I guess in the next episode, we're gonna make a sugarcane farm. Dang it, man. Well, life goes on, so I guess we're gonna have to lay our little dragon fight one more episode. Um, but once we get that sugarcane farm done, we will kill that stupid dragon who's sitting all high and mighty in his little end area. Um, we're gonna steal the egg, we're gonna kill the dragon, we're gonna get an elytra, and we're gonna fly around this world like Superman. So, uh, alright, that's a little bit of a letdown. Let's freaking do it. Alright, so in the next episode, we're gonna build a sugarcane farm and probably a bedroom. Um, so thank you all so much for watching. We got a lot of gunpowder now. Um, our farm is very worky-worky. If you want a tutorial for this farm, I have never done a tutorial before, but it works very well. And if anyone else wants to know how to do it, uh, put it in the comments. Tell me, tell me that, because I will if you want it. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in episode 24, my favorite number, in approximately 2 to 3 to 4 to 5. Oh, it'll come out soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. <sighs> and now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night. <laughs>